Live streaming can get very complicated very fast with terms like stream keys, RTMPs, bit rates, and more jargon to navigate when you're first getting started. Well, today I'm going to show you the easiest way to stream your show, podcast, or anything you like to multiple platforms all at once, including Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and even TikTok. And best of all, you won't have to learn any complicated terms and you won't even have to download any extra software like OBS. I want to give you a full tutorial on how to achieve this using River side and by the end of the video you'll have everything you need to start multi-streaming your content from scratch and a big thanks to Riverside for sponsoring this video now let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you how it works all right, so the first thing you want to do is log into your Riverside account. Now, if you don't have a Riverside account, feel free to use the link below in the description to sign up. But then once you've got your Riverside account, obviously you just need to log in and this will bring you to your Riverside studio. So in order to start our stream, we're just going to go to here, go to studio, click on that. Now this will want to double check your webcam and microphone details. So just make sure everything's correct. So for me, I'm using the Obspot Tiny 2. I want to use my Rodecaster Duo main stereo microphone. And then I'm just gonna leave the audio output as the MacBook Pro speakers. Normally you'd wanna use headphones just to minimize feedback. I'm just gonna stick with this for now. So I'm just gonna say I'm not using headphones. My name is Nick and then I'm just gonna go join studio. So this will instantly bring you into your Riverside studio. Now from here, you can customize your studio. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna go over here to brand. Now the first thing we can do is add a logo. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload my podcast logo which is this file right here, wait for it to upload. And then as you can see, it's now appearing in the top left-hand corner of my stream, which is really cool. If you don't want it up here, you can change the placement just by clicking on the placement icon over here. So you're gonna have it in the bottom or the top two corners. I actually kind of like it down here, so I'm gonna leave it there. And then you can choose your themes. So there's quite a few really cool themes to choose from. You can customize it to your own brand colors, and you can even upload your own background if you don't like the themes that are pre-installed with Riverside. So just for some examples, you can use the Riverside themes. So this one is Sugar Plum. We've got Peppermint. There's Dazzle. And my personal favorite is the prismatic one. I really like this sort of green and orange. It looks really cool. Now, if I just close this invite section for now, we get a full size preview and we can change my name style. So down here, you can see I've got my name and you can even add your title in. So I'm just gonna do YouTuber. You can select the size. So I might go large. Just wanna be able to see it clearly. You can fully customize your color and then you can select the name style. So we've got clean edgy classic and fun and i'm a big fan of the bold one i think that looks really cool and then you can even apply this branding to the lobby of your stream so if i turn that on anyone who's waiting in the lobby will now see this branding all right so now the main thing that you came here for which is the multi-streaming so in order to set this up all you have to do is go up here to the top left hand corner where it says live stream off click on the drop down menu and now you've got a few different options. So first of all, you've got directly streaming on Riverside. So you can create a public audience link, which you can share with anyone you want and they'll be able to view the stream live using this link. Now, if you want to stream to other social networks, you come down to this section here. And if you click this show more button, we can see we've got Twitch, TikTok, as well as custom RTMP. And I won't go into too much detail, but this basically means you can stream to any platform out there. I wanna to stream to YouTube and Twitch. So I'm gonna set that up. Click on the YouTube icon, and this will bring up a pop-up prompting me to connect my YouTube account. So what you'll need is your stream URL and then the stream key. Now again, don't worry too much about the jargon. All you have to do is go to your YouTube studio and then we just go up to create and then go live. Now what you can do is hit this edit button here and this enables you to edit things like your title and the description for the stream. So let's call this Riverside test stream. And then you can also adjust the visibility here. So if you want to do a test stream, you can leave it unlisted or private. And then if you want to do a public stream, just hit the public button. So for now, I'm just going to leave it unlisted since I'm doing a test stream. And now all you need is your stream URL, which is right here. So let's just hit copy, go back to Riverside Studio and then paste in the stream URL. Next, we need the stream key, which is right here. So just copy that and then paste that into the stream key and then hit connect. And now here you can see we've got that YouTube connection set up. Now to add Twitch, I'm just gonna go add and then hit Twitch. This is gonna open a new window in my Twitch account where I just have to authorize 
Riverside FM. And then that will bring me straight back to my Riverside account saying that my Twitch account is now connected. And now we can see just up here, it says live stream ready, which means we're all ready to go. Now today I don't want to stream to Twitch. So I'm just going to turn that off. So now what's going to happen is it's going to stream to Riverside and to YouTube. But if I wanted to stream to both platforms, I just need to leave these both on. I'm also just going to double check my stream settings by going to the settings icon. And here we can see we've got the video quality set to 1080p. So you can turn it down to 720. And this might be useful if your internet is a little bit slow, but I'm going to leave it at 1080. And you can also remove the Riverside watermark if you want. So now if I hit go live, it's going to give me a little countdown. And then just like that, it's going to start streaming to those different platforms. Now, the first thing you might want to do like me, since my internet isn't as fast as it could be, I'm just going to pause my upload. So if you just go back to people and hit pause upload, basically what it's going to do is it's going to record a high quality version of your podcast or show or whatever you're streaming to your computer. And then when you're finished, it's going to upload it directly to Riverside so that you can edit it later. But again, since we're streaming currently, I don't want to be uploading high quality footage at the same time as streaming just to maximize my bandwidth so that the stream is as high quality as possible. And if we want to test and just check how our stream is looking, we can just go up here and hit this little Riverside icon and this is going to pop open a live streaming preview. And there you go. As you can see, this is the live stream in real time. It's got very low latency going directly to Riverside, which is really nice to see. And then any viewers can type in and join the chat, which is really nice. Now let's just double check on YouTube. And here we go. We can see that our test stream is running correctly. It's got an excellent connection. Now let's go back to Riverside. I'll just show you a couple of other things that you can do with Riverside while you're live. So if we just go up here to invite, you can share a link to invite a guest onto your show. And this is again, perfect for podcasting. This is how me and my podcast co-host Sanji do our podcasts. So you just copy this link, send it to them, and then they can join on their computer with their own webcam. You've also got an audience link so that you can share the live stream link with your viewers. And you can even invite a producer who can manage all of the settings and the back end while you're focusing on presenting your show or your podcast. And if you do have a producer or you're wanting to monitor chat from your viewers, then you just go to this chat icon here. And you've got two options. You've got the live stream chat, which is any messages coming from viewers. And then you've also got the studio chat. So the host producers and guests can all chat here backstage, which means that the viewers who are watching the live stream won't see this chat. And there's a couple of other really cool features that I want to show you. So the first is text lower thirds. So here you can create lower thirds to appear during a live stream for a predetermined amount of time. So here I've got Nick's studio and I can set it to just appear for say 10 seconds. So if I hit show, it's gonna appear like this on my live stream, which is really cool. And then you can set pretty much anything you want. So here I've got live with Sanji Sen again, who's my podcast host. So if I hit show, that's going to appear as a lower third, which is really nice. Again, you can customize it to whatever you need and have it up for as long as you want. And then finally, you can even add in media. So you can have a whole bunch of sound effects. There's a whole bunch of sound effects pre-installed in Riverside, or you can upload your own media. Now this works with both video and audio files. So say for example, you've got a podcast intro that you want to roll at the start of each episode. You can upload that here and then just play it during your live stream. And just like that, you're live streaming to multiple platforms at once. You can even monitor how many viewers are on each platform. Currently, since I'm just doing a test, there's no viewers, but that is literally all that you need to do. Then once your stream is over, just come down here to the stop button, hit stop. And now what's going to happen is the high quality recording recording that was recorded onto your computer is going to start uploading to Riverside so that you've got a really high res, high quality backup stored in the cloud. So now you'll have your full recorded show or podcast uploaded to Riverside ready to edit. And don't forget, you can try Riverside for free using the link in the description or use my discount code for 20% off any paid plan. So if you want to learn how to edit using Riverside, then make sure you watch this video right here where I go through the entire process step by step.